Alright guys, so how about this? We're gonna finish up this last ebook of the year and then we'll be done with Madden 21. That's just my personal opinion. I cannot play the game anymore without a promise that I would do this ebook. And so I'm gonna fulfill my promise and finish it today. If you guys don't remember because it's been a hell of a long time uh, since I last did a video on this, we're talking about the gun why off trips pets. I already talked about pets why out and I already talked about why option wheel would just continue going down the list. We'll talk about scat. Now, first of all, I appreciate everyone who's still watching me at this time of the Madden year. You guys are awesome. You're killing it. I appreciate the support. It's really late. Tips are kind of dead because I, we know so much about the game now. But if you still are interested in the type of stuff that I'm showing you, I really appreciate everything that you're doing. So we'll just go into coaching adjustments on defense and we'll just change these things. Uh, that's how I do it. There you go. Random play. That's not what I wanted to do. But I'll just come out in uh, time for time one for six, because why not? Uh, or actually, I mean, yeah, no, time one for six. There we go. Okay. And if you guys don't remember uh, the glitch that we do, uh, is we go to uh, the fullback wing package, then we go to options. We're gonna go to our depth chart, and we're putting it running back at fullback number one. Now, why do do we do that? Because in regular teams. We want a fast guy in it, that spot in tight ends and regular teams generally not, are not that fast. So you put Leonard Fournette there, he's got 92 speed. He's decent for that, so that's why I recommend you guys doing it. Also, this is a very regs heavy scheme. A lot of the plays that I'll show you, you will be thinking, okay, why do I need that specific play for that specific drop? Because I could just do, I could just do that with Hot Drop Master. Yes, but I want this to also be applicable to guys who don't really want to use Hot Drop Master. This is the offense for you if you're that kind of guy. What I'm running currently in Mutt is a hot drop master with Gunslinger. Uh, it's just the best thing for me. But if you don't want that, hey, this scheme also works for you. So let's talk about Scat. And okay, nice. First step we're going to go for is we're going to put Brown on a curl flat, Fournette on a drag, Evans on a drag, block the running back, and we will motion snap Goodwin across. What, uh, watch precisely when I'm snapping this ball because that's important. Snap the ball right there. And now if we just wait, you will see we'll get something open. It really is that simple. One of the routes is going to be open. It's just about really being disciplined and taking the drag whenever you can. We'll do that again. This time I'll uh, shade underneath so the 20 yard hard flats can play the, what they're supposed to. In this case, I would just check it down to land for net. Get some easy 5 yards. It really is the simplest play in the world. Uh, with the double drags, it's going to force your opponent's user to kind of commit to one of them. And if you are 100% sure uh, that your opponent is going to kind of cheat down on one of the drags, then that's the point when you hit him with the post route over the top. Be careful though, because if they click on, they can sometimes make a crazy play. So that post really only is there to keep your opponent's user in the middle of the field. With that being said, the curl route is also decent, decent against cover 3. Also, like this is a play that I run against cover three. Uh, it's not great against cover two. Trust me, the only thing that you can hope to get open against cover two is the drags, drag routes. Everything else will be absolutely locked up. So this is why I kind of only run this against cover three. Uh, but that's pretty much it for that setup. Let's keep on trucking along. We will put Fournette on a drag, Evans on a drag, block, block the running back. In this case, we won't motion Goblin across, we'll motion Evans across. For this setup, it is important that we really stay disciplined with taking the drag routes. In this case, we can try to throw that with a pass lead all the way to the sideline, but be careful because high zone coverage players might have a chance to jump that. I won't lie, that was kind of a risky throw in ultimate team. I would never throw that ball. In regular teams, you can kind of get away with a little bit more because zones are just not that good because of player ratings. Uh, but now it's the same read on the curl route. Uh, it gets in a nice spot against cover three, especially against cover two. Meh. Meh, that's all I'll say. Uh, but just in general, those are kind of the setups that I would go for if I were you against cover three. There's some more. They, they will, of course, be in the cheat sheet that I'll put up on my pay hip uh, once this ebook is done. So later today, you guys can get ready for that. But really, it's just about staying disciplined. Make sure to take the drag at the corner of this cover. Please do not force anything in this offense. This is such a beautiful offense if you're just disciplined and take what's there. Now against cover two, this is kind of not that great. Uh, I will. You can see on defense that I'm in cover two sink. I, I shade over top. And for this, we will put Brown on a, a flat shot. Ronald Jones on wheel route. We will delay fade land of net. And we want to put uh, Mike Evans on a smoke screen. Now if I snap this ball, 
you will see that I can throw it to circle and I was also able to throw it to triangle. I will tell you one thing though. It is important that you guys stay disciplined with your reads on this because against carry 2 this corner is not great. It's not a deep corner. It's not going to get over top of uh, many cloud flats unless they are 5 yards or something. So be careful. Please do not risk anything in this play. But you can see how... Um, this really was not a good example of showing it, but if you look at the left side, I will just quickly audible to cover two, cover two sink, boom, nice. If you look at the left side, as soon as I see the uh, cloud flat dropping back like that on the outside, I will just throw it to Ronald Jones, check it down, easy, that's an easy 10 yards right there. If they don't have zone drops on their uh, cloud flats in cover, again, in cover two, my bad. Uh, this uh, curl route, wheel route combination uh, the curl route attracts the attention from the uh, flat zone and the wheel route is just going to get up the field open all the way. I will show you this. Uh, we won't do any cuts in this video because I'm just going to be freestyling. We actually, we will do some cuts if I misspeak or something. Uh, but I'll just turn these uh, zone drops off. Now you will see how this works. Uh, dime. There you go. Temp 2. And I'll just show the same thing. You will see how this uh, works. It's not really a glitch as much as it is a concept, in my opinion. Uh, but you can let me know in the comments, of course, if you don't like that that's in the game. I personally like it. It adds some depth. You can see how uh, the outside zone, number 22 right there, he got confused all the way. He was supposed to cover that wheel route, but he just didn't. He reacted to the curl route, and I will show you this again. That this works 100% of the time. You can see uh, with the precision of a clock maker or whatever you say. I am able to throw that wheel route along the sideline very, very easily. Again, on the on the right side, it's all about making the correct read. All right, so I see he's dropping back on the right side. I'll just check it down, track it up, track up the field maybe. If I want to fumble with my wide receiver, then I can, of course, truck just like I did right there. But in general, this is it for Scat. Is it amazing? No. Is it just below amazing? Yes, I think this is a good play that you can run consistently. It's just important that you stay disciplined with your reads as it is always important to do that. But especially with this one, make your opponent really commit to using the drags or else you'll be screwed. All right, now moving on with PA Fork. Uh, let's just talk about it real quick. This is not an amazing play. It's a decent play. I think this is one notch below uh, the last play that I showed you, which was, of course, if I remember correctly, which was Scat. Okay. Um... We want to put Goodwin on slant, uh, Brown on the corner route, Fournette on an out route, and we want a smart route, uh, Mike Evans. This is an amazing play against cover two. I will snap the ball, and you will see why this is amazing. Okay, snap, motion snap the ball right there, boom, nice. And now if I just wait, you can see how we just split the middle. It's a skinny post, you guys know what skinny posts do to cover two. Uh, it's amazing. Besides that, it used to be bad. it used to be better. It used to be able to throw that post route, and it was kind of close to a cover three leader, not really. Um, but now this doesn't work anymore. So uh, the secondary part of that play would, of course, be to just uh, throw it, read the slant to the out route, something like that. Uh, as you guys already know, if you watched uh, my earlier videos this year with the mesh mesh post that got much, this is a very similar setup. You just wanna let Leonard Fournette open up a spot. To throw the ball right there. Nice with a low pass. It's just all about being disciplined in this play. There's not too much more to it. Uh, if you have 90 uh, deep route running, then this um, will also be main coverage. Um, so, yeah, I'll just snap the ball. Only watch the C route. We will see how we can kind of get a step. It's not much, but it's also not nothing, you know. So, we'll try to wiggle. Uh, I couldn't make it quite to the end zone quite, but that's pretty much all there is about this place. There are some item variations where you could go. Uh, with a corner out and then double drag something like that, but kind of the same thing So I don't really feel like explaining it too much in that case. You just want to throw this ball as early as possible. So Yes, I just didn't right there, but you guys get the gist of that This is pretty much only good against beating uh, for beating main coverage with the skinny post and perhaps the corner But amazing against coverage if you don't want to put uh, a skinny post out there uh, Just like that one if you want to keep it with the C post, this is kind of nice. Just make sure to smart route it because uh, it, the route is not usable if you don't smart route it. Because look at how, look at how long that breaks. Not usable. Make sure to smart route it. 
Let's keep on going. Let's talk about Pets X Curl. Very simple play. I'll just run this a couple of times. There's not too much uh, to, to this play. I mean, it's very straightforward. I uh, can just snap the ball as it is. So I'll snap the ball. Nice. Maybe I can just hit up the seam. It's important you read this play out. Just read it. Just look at what's open. There's not much more else for me to say in this case. Ah, nice. I'll just take it down to Ronald Jones. Truck up the field. Get a couple of extra yards. There is not too much more to this. Against hard flats, if I just snap this ball. Okay, I'll just throw it out right. It's the simplest thing in the world. Don't make it too complicated. On the right side, it's a simple concept. Uh, you guys remember the flat route to curl route read. Uh, in this case, just... Oh, my God. <laughs> I threw that way too late. Let me try that again. All right, it's a real simple read. Flat route to out route read. In this case, uh, curl route to out route my bad. I'm not, I can't even talk. Also, I can't make the read before getting sacked. So that's cool. That's just cool. That's just dandy. Uh, just throw it to the out route or the curl route. The owner is open. Quick. Make sure to throw that ball quickly. Because as you saw right there, if you wait too long, it's going to break up the field. And then it's not going to work. Also, this seam route. Mm, it can't get the protection down. Uh, but this seam route is great. Uh, it's especially good against the user or if they're blitz. If you're if they're running his own blitz, it's amazing at that because it's just a quick hitter and let it from that with 92 speed. That's why you put a running back right there. He gets into the end zone very easily. But there's not much more to uh, about this play really. That's it. Just it's a nice quick snap play. Uh, if you just don't know what to do and you just want to snap a play quickly, that's the play you want to do it. Uh, do it with. This uh, it's not so great against cover two again, mm, not great, not great against cover two because kind of the same thing applies. That seam route is not open. Uh, the curl route is kind of open, but also not. You saw how quickly that zone reacted right there. So in general, this is more of a cover three play. If you really have to run it against cover two because you're running out of ideas, I guess you can. It's just not my cup of tea. Uh, this next play, pad slot out, it used to be way better, it's not. Uh, I'll talk about why it was way better uh, early in the year. You used to be able to put uh, Brown in a corner, and this would be cover 3 with Fournette. Sadly, you can't do that anymore, so that kind of sucks, but there are some ways you can still make this play work. I like to put Gobin on drag and just put Fournette on a crossing route, just like that. It's, it's, it's a very simple read. Uh, you can snap it like this, or you could motion snap uh, it across the formation. It really does not make a difference. Uh, you can just start to throw that right there. This is very good at attacking in the middle. So I enjoy running this against a double mabling setup kind of. Uh, if your opponent double mables, then this is one of the best plays that you could go to. Because the drag and the post both attack the middle uh, on at various depths. So if I just wait a little bit, I can throw that drag to go win. This is a very simple play. There's not too much like secret magic stuff going on right there. But it's nice. Uh, you... Yeah, that, that's just all I have to say. It's a nice play. There's not too much for you to think. So that's also good. Just be patient. Uh, that drag route can kind of open up a window for that cross route to get open late. But in, ca in the case you're not motion snapping it, take the drag, please. Don't force it. The, with, uh, the tight end is, with the tight end being crouched down at the line of scrimmage, as you can see, Leonard Fournette right there. Uh, if I were to audible to uh, a bunch... Audible. I can't audible to a bunch damn. But if in a bunch, uh, he would be straight up. Then the crossing up would go a little bit further down the field. In that case, it's a very shallow one. So I don't know if it's that great to be honest with you. Um, this only works against hard flats and running. I'm um, running hard flats right now on defense. I shaded underneath. Only then can you consistently throw that over top against curl flats. Meh. Not that great, guys. Not that great. But just in general. Uh, against double Mabel, I like motioning Gobin across. There's not much more about that play that I like too much. Um, but we can talk about some extra stuff. We can talk about hitching Brown, putting Gobin on a drag, and then motioning him across. Uh, then, you know, uh, we have a nice uh, throw to the hitch right there. If we wait a little bit longer, our one is open. Also, Circle is going to get open across the middle nicely. The only question I have for you is what do you want to do? Uh, with Leonard Fournette, there are a couple of things you can put him on a cross if you want to. You can put him on streak if you want to clear out. Uh, so I'll just run it with this, and I will call out the things that are open. Uh, square is open, R1 is open. If I wait long enough, then circle is open across the middle. Just be careful, be patient with it, um, and hit the drag as often as possible. 
I don't really like this post from the tight end against cover two, to be quite frank with you guys. Uh, I don't know. It's I guess it's kind of decent, but also it's dangerous because it's right in front of you, use the user's face. Uh, you can just drop back pretty easily. Uh, so high zone coverage will be will pay attention to it. So use that responsibly. Uh, you, sh you definitely have to be careful with using it. But you can if you want to. That's just all I'm saying. Last setup is going to be Goodwin on drag. Emmons on the corner. Route. And why this is so great is because it is a very shallow corner. Route. You can see how it got underneath that zone. Uh, because it's not really... Here. Uh, if I put Goodwin on the corner route and then motion him across, you will see this goes way farther down the field. And that is why I like uh, motioning, motioning across Evans on this. It's a very sharp corner. Route. You can run this near the goal line, so let's just say I'll just move the ball to around this. That's the 10 yard line or 12, somewhere around there. And it's just the easiest thing in the world. You just put Gogan on a drag and motion across Evans. Snap the ball right there. And now you see. Uh, that looked really bad. That looked really, really, really bad. Let's try that again. Oh, that, that looked horrible. So I'll snap the ball right here. Nice, 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 nice. And now you can see how I can get kind of to the sideline a little bit quicker than a regular, than a smart rider, not a smart rider, than a hot rod master corner out. So that's just something that you guys can be aware of. But just in general, this play is all about taking the drag as usual, or per usual with this formation. The skinny post of the middle can work against cover two. Just be careful with it. Uh, don't spam it. It's, it's easy for your opponent to uh, start to just user it. But really, there's that much more to it. Uh, this is a setup that I like. That's pretty universal. But just in general. Decent play. Not as good as Cat. Maybe not even as good as Pat's X curl. But somewhere around there in that ballpark. It's good though. Keep your opponent honest by mixing it up. This play is a good mix up. It's not an every down play. But it still is decent. Now speaking of a play that's a little bit more than decent. Let's talk about tight end whip. Tight end whip, the reason why I like this play so much is because uh, of the name of it, a tight end whip. If we look at this uh, for net route, this burn is man coverage, and especially if you smart route it, that's a man coverage killer. So I'll just run against cover two man. Nice. Wait until he is set. And now you will see. Bah. Nice. That's a running back, y'all. That's a running back against the cornerback. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, absolutely tor torches. Can't even speak. Absolutely torches man coverage. So, if you ever in need of a man coverage beater, just do something like this. Put Brown on the crossing route, or maybe even put him on the corner route. Put Emmons on the skinny post. Motion him across. Go in on the flat. That's a man beater, y'all. Snap the ball right there. That's a man beating play. Th that destroys man coverage. So, let's just reset the play. This is not just good for that tight end whip route, though. I want to put going on a curl route i want to put ronald jones on a wheel and then i'm i motion over the wrong guy uh let's just reset the play i motion over the wrong play that was my bad player that was wrong my bad uh we want to put Gubin on a curl i'm gonna put ronald jones on a wheel and then we'll just snap this ball i will snap the ball right there we'll make a read We'll make a read. In this case, I will throw it to R1 with a low pass. Very simply, I could have also thrown it to the uh, wheel route if you guys were. Excuse me, if you guys were curious. Now just do that same thing again. Same, same thing. This is a very simple concept. There's not too much that you guys need to know. In this case, I'll throw it to the running back, take it up the field, truck a little bit, try to pick a tackle against the cornerback. It's the simplest thing in the world, really. There's not too much. Uh, more that I have to tell you guys there are so many setups to this one more time I'll run it and then we'll get into the next one uh, but I think for this play I will leave most of it uh, to the cheat sheet because as I'm looking at it right there there really is a lot for me to explain um, one thing let's guys are we, are we are we ready to see an absolute coverage bomb are we ready for that I think we are we're gonna put Gubin on his streak Mike Evans on a comeback route. This is the cover three bomb. So I just have to make sure to get the time. Get the time. And now you will see. Damn. I need to spy these guys to be able to step up in the pocket. So 
spy 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 all these guys in spies and now let's do it let's do it this is the cover three bomb uh this is the cover three glitch that i showed earlier in the year why is this shit not working guys holy shit guys if i swear to you that i get bombed on this every single weekend league that i play would you guys believe me holy shit this this works all the time in uh in my i don't know why it's not working right now uh but whatever whatever i'll try it again i flipped it if it doesn't work right now then i'm just gonna say that it doesn't work that's so stupid that is so dumb i guess i could just throw that but that is so dumb uh let me take that out actually all right i guess it just doesn't work i guess it just doesn't work all right so we'll just keep going i guess that's an that's an absolute bummer you guys that's an absolute bummer uh, I will just keep it going. This is a setup that I like because of its simplicity and its simple beauty. Um, corner routes, uh, flat route on Jones, drag route on Goodwin, streak the tight end, and then you just read the play. You just read it. You'll be, you'll be careful with throwing it to the open guy. You'll be patient. You'll be patient. You'll take what's there. If nothing is there, you'll just extend the play. Let me show you that thing again. Snap the ball. All right, running back is open. Let me just take that. You guys really at this point should know this formation is all about checking down. It's all about making your opponent adjust to every single route that's on the field. Make sure to not neglect the running back. Never neglect the drag route because once you force your opponent to pay attention to those kind of things, then you will see. I shaded underneath on defense right there. Then you will see how some other things will get open. Square is open. Circle is open. It's an absolute beauty of a play. It's it's beautiful. If you if you, if you remember to check down and everything, that's the most important thing, because then you force your opponent to cover every single route that is in this uh, formation, and that's when you really get the most out of it. Just use every route that's on the field, and you have the most success. I promise you guys that. Okay, now look, you guys. I really, I just want to get through this really quick because every second that I don't have to spend on this game is a second that I win. So. Tight end deep out. Let's talk about it. There's one reason. I guess there are two reasons. I guess there are two reasons why I absolutely enjoy running this play. Um, when we look at Leonard Fournette, we can see he's on an optional. What does that mean? Against Mega, which is going to toast his defender. I will show you this against cover two man. I'll let him set up even. Now, I will snap this ball. And you will see how we just... Oh my God. That's great. That is absolutely great. Let's try that again. I excuse me. I just messed up right there. So I'll try this again. I'll snap the ball. And okay. Now we now we burned him. Now we burned him. Okay, nice. This is an, this is an absolute man coverage killer if you have someone there that can that can actually run routes like a tight end, uh like Darren Waller or someone like that. That's who I'm using because I don't have uh 49ers team chemistry uh theme team. Uh but whatever. Then this will absolutely burn for you. But is now keep talking about this cover two beater um this is especially good if you have zone drops out there but even if you don't have zone drops out there you will see how i will be able to bad throw bad throw I even timed that poorly let's try it again cover two sink let's just snap this ball throw it with a pass lead to the outside possession catch that never rack catch that you will get cheated so many times there's no way you stay you know that make sure the possession catch that or else you will rage trust me on that pass lead all the way to the sideline it's the prettiest thing in the world this is a very simple cover two beater but what can we do to facilitate this cover two beater well we could just do nothing i did not actually mean to just put nothing on the field let me try it again all right so let's keep talking about this put a corner out, uh, a drag route on fernet and a corner out of brown just like that then put, put it to cover two sink and just watch the magic happen uh, check, check it down to learn from that truck up the field very simple that's one thing that you can do you of course can also p just put Leonard Fournette on the delay fade leave Brown on his on his post route just to have something other across the middle of the field this formation really is just about being creative there's not there's just some routes that I want to find out how good they are for you guys in this formation 
but then it, it's just about freestyling it's a lot about freestyling it's a lot about putting different things on the field because of the spacing in this formation there are many things that can work even if you don't understand exactly how they will work something will always be open and if you put some very uh, high quality concepts on the field like a drag route and post route or a curl route or a wheel route and a drag route and something like that I can promise you guys that something will be open if you keep mixing up setups like this so really it's just about knowing the good routes in this formation such as Mike Evans on this one and then figuring out ways uh, to utilize it into a game plan and a lot of this is just freestyling you will see how I'm absolutely freestyling this right now this is a cover 2 bomb this is a cover 2 bomb or at least I thought it was I thought it was but I guess it wasn't let's try that again let's make this into a cover 2 bomb I'll put Fnet on the color route just to attract a little bit of attention both corner routes on the outside are meant to kind of help split the safety and this is not actually cover 2 <laughs> all right Trust me guys, it's the scene route, it's gonna work against cover too. I just screwed that up. Um, but yeah, there's not much more uh, that I need to explain really. There's not much more that I need to explain really. Uh, let's just keep going. I think I already talked about halfback sluggo. Uh, but there's not really much uh, for, me, for you to know. The important route on this is just to have... Uh, to use this scene route right there, I like to block the halfback. And... Whether you motion him across the formation and snap the ball, cover two, uh, snap the ball right there, and then wait for it to get open, as it just didn't because cover two sync matched. And that works against cover two, you will get outside of the safety. Or if you just snap the ball like this, this is actually cover three, but seam route also works against cover three. Uh, this absolutely torches cover two no matter what type of version. Your opponent runs if you want a setup for me against cover two that's something like this is what i would recommend and snap the ball right there so now if you wait long enough you can throw that it's a nice cover two beater but really there's not much more else that i need to talk about for this play it works uh it works i'll just show you that this uh route just beats it even if it's not motion snap absolute bomb across the middle let me just wiggle uh into the end zone very very easy but yeah we're pretty much done i already talked about curl flats i hope i did in one of the previous videos i can't actually remember it's been so long but if i didn't then i will do a whole separate video on curl flats just to end the whole scheme but i think we're done here i appreciate you taking the time to watch the entire video if you made it until now make sure to subscribe because we're <sighs> I don't know what we're doing around here, but we're having fun. I'm, I'm doing a lot of offensive scheme breakdowns. I will also do some defensive tips. I think I will do one final defensive video and then we'll end it for this year with tips. Maybe we'll do some gameplays. Maybe we will just do some foreshadowing for Madden 22. I'll give you some pointers on how to improve uh, in this year to get better for Madden 22. That's one thing that I might talk to you guys about. But until then, I will see you later. I appreciate you taking the time. And as always, goodbye, guys. This offense, it's a lot of fun to run. Be patient with it. If you want the full offense, you can check out my pay hip. Link to that is in the description. But until next time, peace out, guys. I love you all. And I appreciate all support.